A former UNL Medical School resident says she was punished for reporting she had been raped. UNM ended up paying her in a settlement. And now they could face another lawsuit for what a professor said about the case. News 13's Jackie Kent has the email. Jessica, the woman says UNM never investigated after she reported she was raped. Now she says they're complaining about having to pay her. When will UNM learn to start believing the victims of sexual violence instead of uh, punishing? Attorney Lisa Curtis slapped UNM with a notice Wednesday saying she plans to sue for defamation after what she says is yet another attack on her client, Cynthia Harold. Dr. Harold blew the whistle and, uh, and they punished her instead of uh, investigating the sexual assault. Back in 2011, Harold sued the university for wrongful termination after she says she was raped by a fellow anesthesiology resident, then fired from the residency program for reporting it. We definitely believe that she was retaliated against for having reported. UNM was acquitted in district court, but in an appeal, the state Supreme Court sided with Harold. She was awarded an undisclosed settlement in November. And it's what happened next that has UNM facing a defamation lawsuit. It's sort of shocking. About two weeks after the settlement, the anesthesiology department chair sent an email saying staff would not be getting their bonuses this year because that money was used to pay a settlement to, quote, problem resident Cindy Harold. Harold's attorney says that email was a breach of the confidential settlement, adding it's another attempt by the department to silence women. Who would report that they've been raped uh, to the university when uh, their innocent colleagues' bonuses are uh, going to be removed if they report? In a statement to KRQE, UNM in part says, quote, it's committed to constantly reflecting and improving how we avoid, stop, and address sexual harassment. UNM says each department in the School of Medicine manages its bonuses differently. It says funds from the anesthesiology department were used in this case, but UNM will not be releasing specific dollar amounts or details due to the confidentiality of the settlement. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Jackie. Harold's attorney says the alleged rapist was never investigated, and he is now an anesthesiologist working in Austin, Texas. The district.